So in an incognito, he was visiting all the temples in Vrindavana, but he could not find that Gopala deity there. He became very dissatisfied. Out of frustration, he came to Govindakund near Govardhan. There he saw one beautiful temple. So when he was about to enter into the temple, the guard identified that he is not a Hindu, he is a Mlecha person. So he was sent away. So he also went there and sat near the Govindakund lake where Madhavendra Puri sat and he was thinking, uh, unless Lord gives me darshan, I'm not going to drink water, I'm not going to sleep, I'm not going to take rest. And like that for three continuous days he has been waiting there to have darshan of the Lord. I know this is the Lord's house. He is there inside hiding. I want to have his darshan. After relentlessly waiting there and completely meditating only onto the temple and waiting for the anticipation of the darshan of the Lord, Three days he was continuously in that meditation. So the Lord became very much satisfied. The Lord inspired the head pujari. He was Vitranada. He was son of Vallabhacharya who was taking care of the deity. The Lord inspired him that saying that this, there is one boy who is there at this Govindakund who wants to have my darshan. But unless he has been properly purified, sanctified by you, he will not get this opportunity. So be merciful upon that boy. Initiate him into the bhakti process. So on the order of the Lord, the Goswamiji went there. He saw that boy. And as soon as this boy saw the Goswamiji coming towards him, he saw as if the Supreme Lord has come through him in that form. He immediately went there, paid obeisances, and uh, he requested him to be merciful upon him to show. Uh, he is saying that, I know that Lord is hiding inside that house. Please give me an opportunity to have the darshan of the Lord of my heart. Then Goswamiji, seeing his sincerity, then blessed him, then he took him to the Govindakund, made him bath there, then he sanctified him by giving the mantra, initiated him into the process, then he gave one more disciple to take him inside and have the darshan. As soon as he went inside, he saw the darshan of the Srinathji deity there, he became mesmerized. His life became fully con content, no more, nothing I require in this world. After satisfaction, then uh, when uh, after fully offering prayers and all these glorification and all, then when he was about to leave, he saw somebody caught his hand. Well, that was the deity himself caught his hand. The deity asked, where are you going? Now you have come to me, I am not leaving you. Till now you have been hankering for me, now be with me. I am not going to leave you. From that day, he was always there with the Lord. And it, we all know Krishna is a, uh, a Nitya Leela person. Even though he is in the form of the deity, he goes outside. So every day he goes out, with, goes out with other boys to herd with the cows. So Raskan used to go follow with him. In the night he used to go with the gopis, uh, Leelas. So he used to go stand there as a guard. So every day he used to go with the pastimes of the Lord. And when he comes back, he used to write his experience of the transcendental pastimes of the Lord in the songs he used to write. In that way, he spent his life in Vrindavana, glorifying the uh, qualities of the Lord's many songs he had written. See, birth is not the qualification, but the opportunity what he got to engage in the devotional service, he utilized that person. Jiva Goswami, Krishna Das Kavraj Goswami, that time, he is a resident of Vrindavana. Actually, before he was a Muslim man. He is in the family of Mughals from a Patan family. So he took birth in the year 1548 in a Patan family in Pihani village, Hardoi district, UP. His original name was Syed Ibrahim Khan. And he was a resident of near Delhi because the Mughals were ruling India from Delhi. So because in the royal family, very prosperous. So from his childhood, he spent in happiness and uh, Affection because there is no need to work hard to maintain his life. Luxury is there for him. So there was no shortage in his house. So since their family was by default religiously inclined, he too picked up religious sentiments and curiosity from his childhood. So he saw that curiosity, how it led him to worship the Supreme Lord Krishna is his perspective. Seeing the war in the royal family of Delhi, I have given up the arrogance of being in the royal dynasty. 
at that time aurangzeb was ruling so he saw the atrocities how aurangzeb killed his own family members imprisoned his father what the atrocities were going on for him to become the king he said i have seen all these things so now i have left my arrogance that i am a king because i saw everything all the what bad not should not happen everything happening in their own family so uh, from his childhood he was very much attached to one merchant boy because of that boy has bodily features very nice bodily features and all so raskan used to go always behind him so wherever that boy goes he will be always be accompanied by that boy if he goes to home if he goes to sleep if he goes to eat even so much so that he was so much attached to that boy he was eating the remnants of that boy so he became so much carried away that people used to laugh at him his own family members used to laugh at him are you are a patan you are a muslim why you are running around a hindu boy but he was not bothered at all one day there were four vaishnavas who were sitting in that area and they were discussing about bhakti to the lord so one devotee was glorifying see we should have that faith like that boy like raskan who was very much addicted to that merchant's boy if i ha- can have that faith on the supreme lord like raskan my life will be glorious so raskan was going by that area when he heard his name he came to them and he asked them i heard that you are all discussing about me what is it that you are discussing about then they explained the scenario then they said see attachment to the supreme lord is so rare so like your life you have been attached to that boy if you can divert that attention to the supreme lord what your life will be glorious like how chintamani <coughs> inspired velva mangal tak so these people explained about god they explained about gopala gopal ji the deity which was going to madhavendra puri the shrinath ji deity so they were all addicted to shrinath ji that form of shrinath ji then he said if i have to become attached to the lord i should know about his form only then i can become attached then they started glorifying the form of the lord and they showed him one photo of shrinath ji so when he saw that photo he became very much captured his heart became very much captured so he became very much influenced his inquisitiveness to see the deity personally inspired him so one day he took a horse and he traveled from delhi to vrindavan entire night next day morning in an incognito because a muslim will not be allowed to enter into the temples and that too he is coming from aurangzeb family they don't know what purpose he has come here so in an incognito he was visiting all the temples in vrindavan 